Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. David Pugh. I'm a staff scientist at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology's Visualization Core Laboratory. So today I want to give you a little tutorial on how to um, create SSH keys for your GitHub account and then add those SSH keys uh, on your GitHub profile so that you can uh, develop your work on IBEX and then push and pull it to and from uh, a either a public GitHub repository or a private GitHub repository. So um, this is a pretty critical uh, step in order for you to uh, develop your applications um, on IBEX and then use version control to um, keep a remote copy of your uh, your work up on GitHub. And it's kind of a required step now because as of August, GitHub disabled uh, password, username and password authentication to push and pull changes from GitHub repository. So if you want to be able to push and pull changes from a GitHub repository while you're working on IBEX, uh, which is something that I do on a nearly daily basis in my, uh, my work here at KAUST, then you do need to set up, uh, create some SSH keys and add them to your GitHub profile. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So first, uh, let's just make sure we're all uh, logged into IBEX and hit CD to change into your home directory. We'll just confirm that I am in my home directory. So on IBEX, we want to be logged in and in our home directories. And then on GitHub, you want to be logged in to your, uh, your GitHub account. Um, here I'm using the IBEX training account um, on GitHub. So now um, what we want to do is on GitHub, we want to go up to the top right-hand corner click this little drop down menu and go to settings. And then on settings, you'll see there is an SSH and GPG key. So go ahead and click on SSH and GPG keys. Now, um, assuming you've not set up SSH keys on GitHub before, your, um, the page should look like this. So it should say that there are no SSH keys associated with your account. There are no GPG keys associated with your account. So what we want to do is we want to create a new SSH key pair. And so GitHub actually has some pretty good, good um, uh, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, documentation for how to generate SSH keys. So I'm just going to open that in a new tab. And um, I'm not going to go into the details about SSH um, or the background of SSH. I'm just going to show you how to generate the uh, SSH public and private key pairs. So um, let's go to the section on checking for existing SSH key pairs. So um, they give you this command, which is basically to list the, the contents of a particular directory uh, in your home directory. So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that. So we're gonna run a ls-al on the dot SSH directory. And if you hit enter, you should get something that's gonna look like this. It might not look exactly like this, um, but for sure, you should have these last two lines. They represent your uh, auto-generated uh, KSL internal public and private SSH keys. And then if you've set up SSH keys to log into IBEX, you will have an authorized keys file. Um, you may or may not have a SSH configuration file. Um, you probably will because I think one is auto-generated for you um, for your IBEX account. Um, and then you may or may not have a list of known hosts. Um, but the important thing for this, uh, the important takeaway here is that we already have some SSH keys. However, we don't want to use these SSH keys. These are internal keys for um, accessing servers that are internal to the Cal Supercomputing Lab infrastructure. So we don't want to use these keys when we're accessing our GitHub uh, our personal GitHub accounts. So we want to create separate SSH keys specifically for the purpose of accessing the GitHub account. Okay, so let's to go ahead and jump to the next section in the documentation on generating a uh, SSH key. So we're using the Linux operating system. So we can just go ahead and click Linux here. Um, so we're going to be using a program called SSH KeyGen. Uh, which is already loaded on, on IBEX. So XSH uh, keygen. 
And then we're going to use a particular algorithm. Um, there are several algorithms for generating. These are cryptographic algorithms for generating public and private key pairs uh, that are supported by GitHub. We'll go ahead and use the one that's recommended in your documentation, um, which is a more modern uh, cryptographic algorithm. Um, and then for the email, instead of using um, your Calst email, you should go ahead or you should use whatever email is associated with your, your GitHub account. So it might be a Calst email, it might be a personal email, whatever that email is. Um, please go ahead and use the email that's associated with your account. So the email is associated with my training, the IVAX training account is ivax at hpc.calst.edu.sa. So we'll go with that one. And then go ahead and hit enter. And you'll get a message that says you're generating this public private key pair using a particular algorithm. And then it's going to ask you what, uh, where do you want to save these key files? And it gives you a default path here. So what we want to do is we don't actually want to use the default path. Um, we want to append GitHub to the file name so that we can clearly mark these keys as being used for GitHub. And so to do that, I'm just going to write out the whole path here. And then I'm going to put git, uh, GitHub underscore ID underscore ED25519. And I'm just going to check to make sure that's right. So slash home slash your username slash dot SSH slash GitHub underscore ID underscore ED25519. Okay, now I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to ask me for pass uh, for passphrase. Now this passphrase adds a second level of protection. So the passphrase is going to be a particular phrase that will need to be typed in order to unlock the GitHub underscore ID underscore ED25519 private key. So let's suppose that somebody compromised your IBEX uh, your IBEX credentials and they could log in. So these would actually be compromising your CALS credentials and being able to log in to, to IBEX. If you did not password protect your private key for GitHub, they would also have SSH access to your GitHub account, which means in principle, they could delete everything on GitHub, um, all of your repositories and things like that, which is probably something that you want to avoid. So it's generally a best practice to go ahead and just create a simple passphrase that you will be able to remember and that you will be able to enter whenever you want to unlock your uh, GitHub private key. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter a passphrase here. And once you have entered it twice, you will be told that your identification has been, has been saved and the public key has been saved in a .pub file with the same file name. You're given the SHA-256 hash of your key and then a random art image. So, so we're done, basically. We have created these keys. And now if we repeat the ls-al on SSH, you can see that we now have these two files here, which we just created. Cool. Now, before we can, um, now that we've created these keys, though, we have to um, add the public key to our GitHub account. And so the, there is a, um, some more documentation on how to do that. Um, so what we can do is uh, first we need to copy the contents of our public key, public key. So basically, we want to copy the contents of this file. You never copy the contents of your private key and send it somewhere else. You only ever share the public key. This is an important part of the private and public key cryptography. So we're going to cat out our GitHub public key. So I'm just going to go in here and then copy that. And then we're going to go back to our uh, page where we have the SSH keys and GPG keys. And we're going to have new SSH key. We're going to click on that button. And we're going to call this maybe IBEX for the name for the key. 
Um, and then we will paste the contents of the public key here and click add SSH key. All right. Okay, so now we're almost there, but not quite. So in particular, we can test our connection. Um, so now that we've added a key, we can go to the test your SSH connection. And what we can do is test our connection. And we get permission denied public key. And the reason that we're getting permission denied is that we now need to tell SSH which of these um, key pairs it ought to try when logging in and using or logging into IBEX, or sorry, not logging into IBEX, logging into GitHub. So we have all these public private key pairs. We need to tell SSH you know, what to use when it's trying to log into particular hosts. And the way we do that is by making changes to our SSH configuration file. So what we will do now is, I'm just gonna clear this out, is we will edit our SSH config file. So there, I think most of you will have a default SSH config file and um, it will look like this. So I think this is the auto-generated SSH config file whenever you, uh, for every new user on IBEX. So these are kind of some default settings. And to make sure that these default settings get applied no matter kind of what, uh, or as backups basically, um, uh, what we want to do is we're going to add a, uh, a host star block. So the star here is going to be a pattern matching, uh, is going to pattern match on different hosts. And so we're going to put this at the end of the file. And we're going to make some room. And then we're going to add a new host block for github.com. And for the host name, we want to put uh, github.com. And now for the user, when we're doing things with GitHub, we don't use our GitHub user. We actually use um, a special Git user. So we just put Git in as the user. And then as the identity file, we add the path to GitHub underscore ID underscore ED 25519, the path to the key that we want to use. Okay, so the way this is going to work <clears throat> is that whenever um, a connection tries to SSH into github.com, SSH is going to parse this config file and it's going to find this block here. And then it's going to use the Git user and it's going to use this uh, github underscore id underscore ed25519 as the identity file to try to make the SSH connection. And it's not going to use the KSL internal keys. So we'll go ahead and do a control X, Y to save, and then hit enter. And now if we try this, we should get a connection. So we'll be prompted first to unlock our private key. So you type in your passphrase again, and then, hey presto, we get the verified and success message that, um, that we were expecting. Right, so what can you do with this now that you have set up your SSH keys on GitHub? Okay. So to show you kind of how this would work, let's suppose that we're starting a new project um, here at Calist, a new project with PyTorch, for example. So if we go to the Calist BizLab um, GitHub page, we can see some template repositories. So let's suppose we wanted to start a new PyTorch project. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the PyTorch GPU data science project. And um, since this is a template project, we can use this template to create a new um, PyTorch project. So I'll call this um, some new PyTorch project. 
Okay, and newest PyTorch deep learning algorithm. model to do cool things. And you can make it public or private and then create repository from template. So here we're just kind of mimicking an example of how you might um, create a new PyTorch project. And now we want to clone this. And so when we go to code, now we can use this SSH um, link to clone the repository. So we're gonna copy this link and now we'll do git clone and paste in the clone link. And before, if you've, used, if you've been using git and GitHub a lot, you might have noticed, or you might've been using HTTPS. So that would be replacing, um, well, it uses a different clone link. And again, as of August uh, 2021, GitHub has disabled the ability to use your username and password to push and pull changes via HTTPS. They really want you to use the more secure SSH route. So we go ahead and hit enter. And again, we're going to be asked to use the passphrase for the private key. But then once we put in the passphrase, then we can clone this repository. And then if we run a ls, we can see that here's the new, some new PyTorch project, which I just created. Right, okay, so that's basically all I wanted to cover. So I just wanted to walk through the process of um, creating your SSH keys, uh, which you do um, on IBEX after you've logged in, you create your SSH keys using SSH keygen. And then once you've created those keys, you need to copy the public key up to your GitHub repository. And we walked through the process of doing that by going to settings, going to SSH and GPG keys, and then adding uh, your key here. Um, and then I showed you some examples of, or I showed you an example of creating a new project um, from a template project and then cloning using SSH to get the source code for that project down onto um, down onto IBEX. Okay. So if you want to do your development work on IBEX and then push and pull changes to and from a public or private GitHub repository, you're going to need to go through this process of generating SSH keys for GitHub and adding those SSH keys to your GitHub account. Okay. So hopefully this made this process a little bit easier and, you know, feedback is always appreciated. So please do, um, do let me know uh, either in the comments or reach out to me via email or on Slack uh, and let me know if you enjoyed this training video and if you'd like more content related to SSH keys and using SSH uh, effectively on IBEX. Bye for now.